Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to see a body summary of chapters 2 to 4. In chapter 2, we find Indranath, the leading character of the novel, noticing Kal to a Mahout who was sneezing three times in quick succession. And Indranath thought that this Mahout might have gone uh, to the uh, opium den of Bhagavadi and spent his night there having opium. Kal to is described as a short statured, hunchbacked, and squint eyed man. Itanrath gave a warning to uh, call to by saying that uh, he is going to give his name to the reformation camp and home gods there will come and carry his filthy neck, come and catch his filthy neck and drag him there like a rat. On hearing this call to try to suppress, uh, suppress his uh, coughing and sneezing with great effort. He tried to suppress his coughing and sneezing. And uh, on his way to home, Indranath felt like walking down a graveyard uh, on the place uh, which was formerly a, a paddy field. Uh, the air there was replaced by the odor of opium. And uh, Indranath used to see a leper um, there uh, all the time there. And uh, this outcast leper, uh, uh, leper appeared to be in a state of semi-coma. And uh, Indranat noticed a saucepan lying there. It was an uh, old battered uh, saucepan with a long handle. And on seeing this saucepan, he was reminded of the uh, one that is uh, placed at uh, Saru Gosain's uh, house. And uh, he thought who might have given the saucepan to Saru Gosain. Uh, who was a uh, very conservative Brahmin, who was an extremely orthodox, ritual addicted widow. And uh, Indranath came to the conclusion that a Brahmin from uh, Haramadav named Mahadir might have given it to her. And on the Gosain's lands, there was a trouble uh, which the communists were creating for the Gosains. And the trouble is that the Gosains uh, have to plow the land with their own hands in order to retain their lands. And uh, uh, in this uh, chapter, we are introduced to a character named Eliman. Uh, she is the daughter of uh, uh, Bahindram Bhagwadi, that is the brother of uh, Jokram Bhagwadi. And uh, the first sight itself, uh, Indranath uh, began to show some interest in her. And uh, this girl has also got some interest in him. And in chapter 3, uh, we find uh, the ritual of Amodi, uh, the Amodi ritual that is taking place during the month of May. And uh, for this ritual, the doors of uh, the famous Kamakya temple are closed. Uh, in this chapter, we find uh, Giribala, uh, uh, Giribala, the, young, uh, the youngest sister of Indranath, uh, a widow of uh, tender age, was brought to home, brought to her uh, parents' home. And uh, several women come there uh, to come and console uh, Giribala. And Giribala uh, is not willing to meet them. And uh, the women uh, comment her that uh, she, is the, uh, she has not changed uh, even after all these uh, sorrowful condition. Okay, even after this uh, tragic situation that she has faced. And uh, they pass several comments about her husband and her in-laws. Uh, and uh, from their conversation, it is understood that Giribala was not leading a very happy life in her in-laws home. And her uh, mother-in-law tortured her uh, that her unborn child uh, was, uh, it was uh, uh, dead okay, in the womb itself. And her uh, father-in-law and her in-laws, they were very happy uh, to send her to her parents' home. So all these are understood from the conversation or from the gossip of the uh, women there. And uh, it is also to be noted that uh, Gozain, that is um, uh, Giribala's mother, was also not interested in giving her hand uh, to this man in, her, in marriage. Uh, so there were several rumors about uh, uh, Giribala's uh, her late husband. And uh, there were women like Nani Chamba and Bhumi Chamba. They also commented, they also passed some ill comments about uh, Giribala's husband and also about the condition of uh, Giribala. Uh, the woman named uh, Bhumi Chamba, 
ओके शी वॉज वेरी हैप्पी ओवर गिरीबालास फेट शी प्रिटेंडेड टू बी वेरी सॉरोफुल ऑन हियरिंग दि ट्राजिक सिटेशन ऑफ गिरीबाला बट इन हर हार्ट ऑफ हार्ट शी वॉज वेरी हैप्पी and uh, okay after hearing all those uh, comments of the women uh, giribala burst out like a, a tiger she opened the door like a, a tiger uh, and she uh, she like a tigress in rage she rushed out like a tigress in rage and she screamed you came here to see me didn't you you have seen me now i am still alive i will live on and have a better life than all of you and in chapter 4 uh, we, uh, we find uh, a house uh, that is uh, just opposite of the hosain's house uh, the house of hari mahajan so um, indranath could notice a few opium eaters uh, sitting outside the house of hari mahajan and uh, there uh, they are uh, the opium eaters are unkempt and they have tangled hair uh, indranath showed his disgust Uh, at the sight of these uh, um, opium eaters uh, and he averted his eyes with disgust from this spectacle and he was not able to bear the foul smell of opium too so he uh, took out his handkerchief from his pocket and covered his nose with it uh, and indranath was lost in thought uh, only the other day his mother had hinted about proposals pouring in from the parents of uh, uh, many brahmin uh, girls and uh, indranath was thinking about elimen whom he met uh, on his way to home the previous day and also uh, we come to know that uh, elimen came from an ordinary brahmin family uh, and uh, the gotra of indranath and elimen are entirely different um so indranath was thinking that his ancestors never married ordinary brahmin girls his mother grandmother all came from established satras uh in the middle of uh, the group okay so on his way to home he saw a truck loaded with sal logas road passed and in the middle of the group he saw a man wearing a khadi cap and canvas shoes and uh, he was a volunteer of the congress party who went from house to house uh, to take up statistics about opium eaters and he was talking about the poisonous effect of opium eating so indra was listening to the volunteer speech eagerly and um, the volunteer was saying that the non cooperation movement of mahatma mahatma gandhi opened their eyes to the evils of opium eating Uh, we have to uproot and discard this 150 year old problem you are the followers of mahatma gandhi many of you have gone, have even gone to jail during the british rule so these are uh, the uh, some of the experts from the speech of the volunteer sindhana so was listening to all this speech of this uh, uh, volunteer and um, also he says uh, Uh, that the government has set up a camp for uh, uh, the welfare and medical treatment for the, of the opium eaters and the food is also given free of cost and uh, when questions were raised about women opium addicts uh, it was said that uh, uh, the government has set up a camp at haramado for treatment and rehabilitation for both men and women and for the women who have fallen into this evil habit they will be taken to camp forcibly forcibly Uh, if necessary and uh, finally the volunteer says that um, the people of the um, uh, people of um, karum okay they have to uh, save uh, themselves from this poison they have to save their motherland the azam uh, azamis people have to save their motherland so all these uh, things were said by the volunteer and uh, and on his way uh, back to home indranath uh, saw an old woman standing there with elimen and uh, this old woman uh, said to um, indranath that uh, um, uh, elimen has attained puberty and a, um, a girl of her age okay um, especially a brahmin girl who has attained puberty before marriage they are considered as outcast uh, in the village there and she wanted uh, the old woman wanted indranath to marry elimen and also um, 
she said that uh, Eliman is also interested to marry. Okay, she is also uh, willing to marry Indranath. And uh, but Indranath is confused. Okay, he is not able to take a decision all on a sudden because uh, his ancestors never married an ordinary Brahmin. Uh, women okay and they never married ordinary brahmin women so he was confused um, he was not able to come to a decision and on his way uh, he met a brahmin from kuch behar uh, Okay, sorry, not a Brahmin. So, um, this old man was also uh, telling Indranath about the dangers that Eliman is uh, going to face. Um, that Eliman's father um, has promised to marry her to a Brahmin from Kuch Bakar, and this Brahmin, has all, all, uh, Brahmin is also ready to marry her. Uh, and uh, but the problem is that this uh, man is an opium addict he's an opium addict and uh, the old woman uh, and Eliman they wanted uh, um, uh, this Brahmin to be arrested okay not to save the life of Eliman uh, so Indranath was thinking about all this in his mind on his way to home and he thought what will, what will happen if um, uh, Giri, uh, I'm sorry, uh, if uh, Eliman's father, if uh, Eliman's father was arrested and on behalf of this Brahmin from Kuch Bihar. So he was thinking about all these things. And uh, he met a priest there and um, uh, he asked the priest, uh, he was talking to the priest about so many things and also he recollected an incident um, okay, where he spoke to an excise officer. And uh, uh, in his uh, words uh, to the excise officer, he, he gave an account of his father uh, who played a, an important role in the reduction of opium addiction and also the establishment of rehabilitation center in his village. And he had a conversation with a priest uh, on his way to home. And uh, uh, in that conversation, he asked about uh, um, uh, the uh, about his ancestors. If any of his ancestors have married ordinary Brahmin women, uh, to this the priest says uh, uh, many an many of his ancestors uh, they had affair with ordinary Brahmin women, but they never married them. Okay, with this the chapter ends. Thank you for watching this video.